What's up guys, it's Nick from stridewise.com uh, where we look at men's boots and high-end casual apparel. Today, I'm doing the video I've spent many years working toward the best wax canvas backpacks. I've spent many, many hours and days and years and dollars researching and testing wax canvas bags so that I could bring you the best and most accurate and most unbiased list. Why wax canvas, first of all? Well, I've said this in all my reviews of it, but if you're new here, first of all, I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button. It takes you no time and it really means a lot to the channel and uh, it helps me make this content for you and makes a small dent in the uh, pile of money that I've spent on boots and backpacks. Wax canvas is basically how we used to make waterproof bags. In the days before nylon and Gore-Tex, we used cotton and usually canvas, a very dense, tightly woven form of this stuff that we measure in ounces per square yard. The average pair of jeans is about 11 or 12. On this list, we have bags at that weight, but I've reviewed bags over 20 ounces, which is really thick, really, really cool. The wax came into play when sailors realized that wet sails catch more wind and they make their boats faster. So to mimic that, to seal the canvas and make it less porous, they coated them with wax, which also made rain pour right off of it. That caught on and led to wax canvas raincoats and tents and bags and what we got here. So in summary, there are three reasons people love bags like these. They're water resistant, they're extremely resistant to tearing and abrasion, and they look cool as hell. Wax canvas ages really beautifully, and people often resell their old bags at a profit because people love the look of old wax canvas bags so much. Now, one more thing before we get to the list. Look, I'm fully aware that there are more lightweight and more functional and more waterproof ways to make bags nowadays, all right? If you dig this style, if you dig wax canvas, I mean, the fact that they're extremely tear resistant is actually a good and useful thing for outdoorsmen. But we can all admit that a big part of it is that we're attracted to how cool they look, you know? The good news though is that this list starts with more old fashioned wax canvas backpacks and then moves into more modern designs. So there's bound to be something you like here. All right, number one. I know this is a huge cliche, but the fact remains that Filson makes the coolest bags in the business and the Journeyman is the best wax canvas backpack. As always, I must inform you that Jack Ryan wore it all over the CIA in his Amazon incarnation. And the reason he could, I think, is that this bag is just the right amount of minimalist and old fashioned. It's got a nice simple design. It doesn't have tons of leather and buckles like a lot of alternatives. It's got a padded laptop sleeve and water bottle holders. It's got a zipped interior pocket and these great vegetable tanned bridal leather accents. It's just the right amount of everything and way better than Filson's rucksack, which I hate for reasons I explain in my video about it. Stick with the Journeyman, in my opinion. It is a perfect bag and you can see my 15 minute long video about it for more reasons why, because I've got a lot of them. The next entry is the coolest wax canvas backpack for guys who, who don't want minimalism. They want a bag that really leans into heritage and looks like an old fashioned bag you can take into the wilderness and write the great American novel under a blanket of stars with. It's the Bradley Mountain Wilder. This is a monstrously cool bag with 20 ounce canvas, 19.8 ounces actually, and it's bristling with vegetable tan leather. It has the edge on Filson for a few reasons in, you know, subjective. The canvas is thicker. It's also from America, this canvas, while well, Filson's canvas comes from Britain, although both bags are made in America. Every bag on this list is made in America, by the way. It's from a very small company as well of half a dozen employees or so, while well, Filson is huge. So if your thing is wanting to get American made to support small American businesses, uh, this could be a better bet for you, you know, philosophically. It's got a leather bottom as well for extra toughness and it's got these belts on the side you can use to strap stuff to it. And it also stores more than the Journeyman. This is 28.3 liters over Filson's 23 liters. It is 50 bucks more expensive and it is very expensive, honestly. And it is pretty hard to wear this bag with shorts or a suit the way that I think you can with the Journeyman, which is much, much more versatile. But if you're in boots and a beanie, this bag looks really, really cool. If it's too much though, I encourage you to check out Bradley Mountain's Biographer backpack, which is a bit more subtle and it stores like 15 to 20 liters. Number three, it is very hard to get an American made heritage backpack for under 300 bucks, but I've done all the work for you guys. I've been Googling around a lot and I've found a few options on this list. The best value I think, Wax Canvas American backpack is Frost River. They make a massive number of wax canvas bags and backpacks, and they'll even personalize yours by stitching a state onto it. I'd probably put the North Bay Day Pack as the best like city friendly one. That's not too, too outdoorsy. It holds 17.5 liters and it just costs 150 bucks. I encourage you to click around their site though for the best value in the game. They have endless options, just that they all come in this drab 
kind of muted tan color. So you don't get a lot of options for, you know, fashionability if that's a thing for you. If you want something really modern though, I've got some options here that have the wax canvas you love in a more 21st century design. The most minimalist I think is this one from Winter Session. It's 20 ounce wax canvas, so super, super thick. Plus it's got a quilted back panel, a padded laptop sleeve, interior zipper pocket, and it comes in a bunch of colors as well. Plus it's under 300 bucks, just $289 right now. Maybe the most like city friendly minimalist wax canvas backpack you can get. Number five, I think the most modern with the most features, like the best compromise between technical and old fashioned is Mission Workshop's Sanction. It's got a sternum strap and an optional belt strap. It's got waterproof lining, it's got pockets all over the place, and it looks cool as hell. Like, you know, a bike messenger could wear this very happily and he'd fit right in. This one comes in a few colors as well, and also it costs 290 bucks while storing about 20 liters. So it's you know, pretty decent value given how the majority of them in the market are over 300 bucks. Um, but there are other sizes available as well. So you can check out this brand and check out their other wax canvas bags if this is your vibe. This is probably the most modern wax canvas backpack. The last one I wanna mention here is Pack Animals Rally Pack. It's a very funky bag, pretty popular right now. This one's technically twill, not canvas, but it's still a super dense and tear resistant cotton. This is a pretty like experimental bag. It's a roll top, but it has a zipped entry pocket in the front you can use to easily grab stuff on the go. So it's got these cool buckles on the side. You can strap your jacket or whatever to it. It's lined with water resistant ripstop lining. 25 liters as well. It might be a bit big for everyday carry for some folks and it's a bit too casual for most offices, I think. But people either love it or hate it and you might be the one who loves it. It is 269 bucks and it's 242 bucks with my discount code, making it very inexpensive for the industry. Just note it is the only one on this list that is not made in America. All right, that is my exhaustive list of the best wax canvas backpacks. Um, check out the article in the description below where I have more picks. Uh, I didn't want to make this video go on and on and on, but I got a few other favorites in that one as well. Like LM Leathergood's Keystone Rucksack is one that I think is, is pretty cool. Yeah, anyway, so check it out. Uh, there are links to buy as well in the description below and also in that article. Uh, and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe, man. I got a lot more stuff on like heritage bags and backpacks and boots and jackets and all kinds of stuff uh, coming up. <laughs>